Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about how stale the lightweight division is. Now, I think this is an interesting t conversation. That's why I'm doing a video on it. Islam Makachev is the champion, as we all know. It just seems a little weird because like, either he has a rematch with Charles Oliveira, either he has a rematch with Armin Sayukian, or... He fights Gaethje, which I think he handily beats Justin Gaethje. Fights Matthias Gamra, which I think is an interesting matchup. But on the feet, Gamra is not very good at all. I love Benio Dariush. I, I would want nothing more than Benny to win a title. But I think his, his striking defense is a little bit too much of an issue. And I don't trust that. Dustin Poirier, not a great defensive grappler. And then you got Jalen Turner, who I don't think would beat Islam Makachev. Renato Marcano is really, really bad on the feet. Benoit St. Denis is probably the guy that could give him the most amount of problems. But even then, I think striking-wise, Islam Makachev would have a handedly um, uh, 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 overlapping uh, advantage in the striking matchup. So... That that's that's eleven. Then you go to Hangman Hooker, no, Chandler, no, Green already fought, wants to rematch. Grant Dawson, I don't like his striking defense. His cardio is a little questionable too, but he's still my prospect, of course. Um but Matt Frivola, absolutely not. Now that's sixteen. So I would assume he's either gonna he's gonna fight the winner of Charles Oliveira versus Armin Sayuki. Now that's a rematch. Now Armin sure might be the guy that's gonna uh 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 give him his toughest matchup, you know, because it is a rematch. But, again, on the feet, Armin Sayukian defensive-wise is not good. Just because he knocked out Benio Dariush really quickly doesn't mean uh, he's he's good on the feet. That's that's just reality. Just caught Benny. It's happened before. You know, when he fought Joaquin Silva, had an easy path to victory. He decided to strike with him and get caught. Almost get finished. Wild. Absolutely wild. So, like, who is the guy that could give him the most problems? Probably Benoit Saint Denis, but even even Benoit Saint Denis, which Denis, which I do like, I do like him a lot. There's still things about how he fights that worries me, and it sucks because fighting Dustin Poirier and beating Dustin doesn't show me that's the guy that could beat Islam Makachev. Fighting the guy like Charles Dubronx or fighting the guy like Armin. Okay, those are good grapplers. Sure, let's see. Or fighting Matthias Gamrat, who's a good chain grappler. Sure, okay, cool. That lets me know. I think that's a bit of the issue with sometimes in these uh, rankings. That you you beat a good guy, a good rank, like rank three. You skim past all the matchups that actually let us know how could he do against the champion. And then he fights the champion, and then we see he has moments, and then he loses. It's like, yeah, well, shit, we could have said that, you know. It's like the Sergei Pavlich thing. Didn't really fight a good uh, pressure guy, didn't fight a good grappler, fought guys that he could kind of bully around, fought guys that would strike with him, and, you know, all these things, and it's like... He didn't fight like Jelton Almeida. Curtis Blades got really close to him, which is exactly why I knew Tom Aspinall was going to beat him. Um, and he had a complete opportunities to get a hold of him and to take him down or to get him against the cage and dirty box him. You know, it's things like that. But it's the issue sometimes where, again, you beat like if Gaethje beats, uh, if like, um, um, but always St. Denise beats Dustin Poirier. Poirier is number seven. Um, Faceev is 8, which is kind of crazy. But, you know, uh, Denise is 11. Uh, Poirier 7. So, now by the way that it's moving, by the rankings are going, St. Denise is, if he beats Poirier, he probably is in front line to fight Islam Akachev. Um Again, it's interesting because I don't think the guy that beat... Benoit St. Denis. I think he's up a weight class. Zaleski, Elizu Zaleski. I think he's a middleweight, if I'm correct. I think he is a middleweight. I was going to say, that man right there is a bad man, and he just does not get any respect that he should. I'm not seeing him. Where is he at? He's a bad man. Okay, I guess I'm not seeing him. Is he a light, well, lightweight? And I'm just going past him on accident. 
Zaleski, 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 da, 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 da. Manuel Torres. Ooh, interesting. But yeah, again, either way, it's it's a tough lightweight division, and I believe it's a little stale because either you have a rematch with Charles, either you have a rematch with Armin, or I mean, then you fight Benoit Saint Denis, and he hasn't really fought anybody. Yeah, I know Dustin's a big name, but I feel like there's still more challenges in that I think you should fight before you fight the champion. That's just my opinion. That's that's just what I think. But again, but only St. Denise is an animal. Very good. Striking defense is a little questionable. And we know Islam's a good striker. That's that's the reality. So again, as always, subscribe, like, comment, let me know your guys' thoughts about it. See you at the next one. Peace.